All right. Well, welcome everyone. Looks like we have a group here to go ahead and get started with our session. Um, I see the Sotai family. I see Nelson and Grandma D and Aunt Carolyn. Um, and just want to double check and see if Grandma D is available. Okay, we'll wait a couple more minutes. And I know there's still some people trying to connect to audio. So maybe we'll wait two more minutes and then we'll get started. So start thinking about uh, what topic you'd like to discuss or what recording you'd like to listen to from the Kiowa Culture Program recordings. Um, and then I can pull some up on the screen so we can look at the topics. So start thinking about that and uh, we'll get started here in just a minute. Are you, can you hear me, Melody? Oh, now I can. Hi, okay. Grandma. Okay, hi. Awesome. Got, got you connected to audio now. Let's see. Did you hear? Um, I, I tried to list off the names of who all's here. All right. So I guess we can get started um, for our opening prayer. Um, Grandma D, pray uh, don't say. Oh, they don't say. Get up on mind. They only get our things on. I'm Tom, they don't on the court on get. Eight more hammer, eight down ye dog dog, get yet home. I get get hard it's all good. Get dark on down into all the dog side get get down. The bone go to all the time. Very hard. Well, go to do go to the do the the all the key. Eight belt all the dog I own time though. Are you can't pay the the dog side though. Oh, uh -oh. thank you, Grandma. Oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Um. So let's see. Um. I know today, uh, there is a rescheduled uh, date for the um spring Ohama feeding, um, which is going on right now. So I know some people are attending that. Um. But uh, does anyone have any topic they'd like to discuss or any questions? Uh, right now, uh, the mentor we have with us today is Grandma D. And um, just wanted to first, before we look at the recording, see if anyone has any questions or uh, things that you might be wondering or things you have for translation. I have a question, Melody. Monday. Um, there's two words that I, I'm having trouble with. And uh, well, one of them is, well, it, using a sentence like if you say, uh, hey, on, oi, bon ta. Okay, then you got that ta. And then, like if you say, um, um, ah, cobot, ah, with that ta and ah. What's the difference in those in those sentences with those two words? Oh, that's a good question. Um, Grandma D, are you able to explain to the best of your knowledge what the difference is? Like why those one is no and so what what were they? The game or bone so. Oh. And the other is, what was uh, the other? Ah, uh, cobot. Ah, uh. a cobot. Oh, uh. well, that's just a matter of what you're saying. I don't know. 
I can't think of any English uh, right now. Uh, the English equivalent of whether it's what part of speech it is. I guess it's a verb. So what's he saying? A cobot, uh, I'm going. I'm going, okay. Now, I'm, I will go now, I will leave now. I'm going now. And the other one is, I. then I will see you again? Again, oh, oh, yeah. I will see you again. So it's just something that's tacked on there. Again, oh, bon though. Does that mud it up ever anymore? It's just the way that we're speaking. It's the way you do in Kiowa. Oh, I hope grandma. Um, I think uh, also Nelson, it has to do with the uh, the verb, like the type of verb that is being used that you're using um, in those. So one way to kind of, I guess, maybe get at the grammar. Someone who's really good with grammar is uh, Dr. Andrew McKenzie. So, and sometimes he joins our sessions on either Wednesdays or Sundays. Um, so that might be a good question to bring up. Um, Dane might also be a good person to ask. And I know he's kind of has to got, get familiar with all the different parts of speech in Kiowa, but um, I'm not as familiar with it, but I, I think like what Grandma D's getting at is it has to do with the, the verb that we're we're using, and it might have to do with a type of verb too, because the a uh, koba uh, off that's a um, the AI the to go off verb, and there's like a whole a separate set of pronoun conjugations that we use with that particular with that particular word. Um, and then with the other, um, until I see you again, you want to look at, um, you could take a look at the breakdown, uh, the gram grammar breakdown in our, our lesson packet for Wednesdays. That might help uh, shed some light on the different parts. I don't remember how far it breaks it down and I don't have it in front of me right now. Um, but maybe that will help or what I always do when I'm trying to figure out the breakdown of a word is I try to find it in the Kiowa uh, glossary. And then um, sometimes it helps to kind of see the different conjugations. Oh, does that, okay. does that help Nelson? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. Awesome. And uh, Nelson, do you have access to that glossary? Oh. Okay, good. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thank good you, Grandma D. Oh. All right. Uh, let's see. Any other questions? I, I might as well ask one more because I've been. It, this one's been burning me up. This one question. <laughs> Hyundai. <laughs> Grandma D. Hyundai. Hot on, hot dog, yeah. Walla cuckoo. On your high go. On your high go. I, 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 I used to hear my grandpa say those, say it like to those little kids. Uh huh. Yeah, when they come by, he would say that and pick them up, put them on his lap. But I never knew what that meant. I never hear it no more. Well, probably it's an old term that <clears throat> I've never heard. Yeah. Oh. Did you oh, say okay. Wally Cuckoo? Uh, Kuala, Kuala Cuckoo. It's, yeah, that's what Kuala. He, uh huh. When they would come by, he would. Uh, They'd be running by. He was, hey, Kuala Cuckoo, and he'd pick them up, put them on their lap. <laughs> well, we just have to start saying it. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to know because, you know, I haven't heard it in a long time. Um, well, I've, I've never heard it, but it sounds to me like it's used with children. 
that just oh. to me it sounds like an affectionate term that a grandparent would say in the old days. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Oh. Okay, Melanie, I'm done. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Any anytime. That's why we I always try to have op open time for people to ask questions. Because, oh, uh, let's see. Uh, those are good ones. I like that. I think they're. I'm trying to remember. I don't think I saw that exact term, but there's some little phrases in. I think it might have been in the OU text that Dean made from 2020. Um, there's some optional phrases and optional sayings in the back of that course packet that um, like things like when you say way but so or uh, just things like that. Um, that might be something to look at to see if there's any reference there. Um, but like Grandma D said, it could be like a term of endearment that that certain family had, you know, and that they used. So if you know the context to use it, then my, you, I mean, sounds like maybe you start using it in that context. Well, well, I, yeah, but I was, I was like, no, I need to find out first because you might get balled down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you good, know, them old question. people, they were, they were stern. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's a good one. All right. Um, well, let's see. I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna try to share my screen and pull up the uh the list of the recordings, but I did have a question um for for you, Grandma D. Um Hyundai and Saito. Uh, do you remember? Um, oh, there's Miss Selma. Miss Selma's joining us. Grandma D, do you remember a, a few years ago when we were on one of our Zoom sessions? Um, you you remembered a children's lullaby uh, that your I think you said your mom used to sing. And uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it was so anyway I found that same lullaby in one uh, at the end of one of the KCP recordings tape 33 and I think it's where your dad sings that and then he talks about it so I'm, I was kind of curious like what the exact translation is for that um, and I was also wondering if like you know there was any like if that's like a, a family song or if it's like widely known, you know, that type of thing. Um, but I was wondering if I could uh, play the, uh, your dad's speech and then where he sings it and see what you think of it. Yeah, I probably, I know it's probably just a standard lullaby, but go ahead. That's okay. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, that would be really cool. Let's see. Oh, and then uh, just, so uh, everyone knows uh, Lori joined us and also Miss Velma joined us. So now we have two mentors on here to help us with uh, translation. Okay, so hey, so let me uh, share my screen. I got to press the right buttons here. So give me a second while I pull it up.
Okay, let me try this. Solo. Lucy Sante, Isabel Tuichet, Lloyd Toyball. Could anyone hear anything? At the beginning, we could. At the beginning, then that was it. Now, nothing but. Okay, okay. Let me, I was trying to uh, find the right uh, spot in the recording where he starts talking. Okay, hey, so let me pull it up again. This is a Kawa Culture Program, session 38 at the home of Lucy Samte, January the 23rd, 1978. The subject would be uh, Kawa uh, Lullaby for the child and also little child and a little boy. At this time, the people that are present today here. Oh, God, they hold on, but don't. The dog, your dog. Hey, okay, don't. Hey, all our tapes on on so that you are saying, yeah, over. Dog, your dog. Ya do kanya Hali da ta Then Ya do Ma to da ta Then ma do Ha ko Ha da ho li ta Da do ti ha li ta no, I got and on that I'll get go and pull on dog. Dog it up and dog and dog dog it. So long. Go it all get get up. They on the get built out hard. Ya moka, te on te, ya hai kia te. 
että on kuuja. Ja oja tekijä. Ne oja tekijä, että on se. On te, että oja tekijä. Ja on oja tekijä. Sola oikeita. Ei te. Tali dot on. ถ้าถ้าเกี่ยวกับดูดตาแล้วก็ออกเพียงก็ก็เก็บเปิ้ลอาจจะก็ถ้าเกี่ยวกันแต่เปิ้ลอาจจะเอาอย่าเอาทะ
Any other questions? Ah, aho, Grandma. That's awesome. So, so that particular lullaby is for only for little boys, and it could be sung by the grandparents or the parents. Grandmother. A oh, grandmother. Or okay. Whoever, whoever, I guess. But I always just knew that grandmother sang lullabies. But I guess anyone can sing them. Ah, uh, uh -huh. Awesome. Does anyone else have any questions? Well, let me see. Uh, I, I know I saw Miss Brenda join and Miss Velma. So I just wanted to see if uh, Miss Velma or Miss Brenda had any uh, comments that they wanted to share on, on what we just listened to. I don't, I just, I didn't hear the recording. So that's okay. I'm I'm just listening today. Ha! Oh. Uh, I think she covered everything. There was a lot, <laughs> especially in the song. But yeah, I, I agree with Dolores. Ha! Oh. Um, and then uh, the Zotai family has a question: Are there any lullabies that included animals? Yeah, the, uh, I don't know them all, but when you sing, it's talking about a lot, they compare them like this one little girl, the one that you sing for a little girl, it's about the prairie dog. And then there's some that, yeah, they include animals. They sing about the animals. Like, I can't even think of. I can't sing in any very, very well, but <clears throat> somebody that like, uh, well, they talk about a little, most people might know they're talking about some animal that's uh, dancing along. And so, yes, there are, to answer your question, yes, there, there's lullabies about animals. Oh, I remember there's, isn't there one, uh, Grandma D about, uh, it's like, a, I don't know if it's like a frog or a rabbit or some type of animal hopping down a riverbank, a sandy yeah. bank, and they're leaving footprints. Yeah, that's, that's, one. That's, that's the one I was thinking about. And then the other one about, uh, that, uh, about the little girl, uh, Tai Tai Badago, Tai Tai Badago, Do Ta Tong He Lete, and Do Ya Pei, Tona Baha Forte, and Do Ta Pei, On So Kimi Matondo. And then I don't know how it ends, but anyways. Da Shan Maton Da. Okay, this little girl, it's a prairie dog, and climbing up on top of the prairie dog hole and dancing. And she has long feet, and she's cute when she's dancing. She has long, a long feet and small eyes. And squinty eyes. Yeah, squinty eyes. So that's for girls. And as you go along, maybe some of those women will sing. Whoever's on the recording. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh. Um, so if anyone is interested, there is, um, so the recording that I just pulled up that we only listened to like a few minutes of is, um, is called Lullabies and it's uh, tape number KCP uh, 33. And then there's another one that we listened to, I think we might have listened to it maybe last year sometime. Um, but here, let me, 
I'm just going to pull up my screen so that we can look at all the recordings that I, at least the ones I have right here. So we can so everyone can kind of see what we want to listen to which recording we want to listen to so. Let me go back here. Okay, so uh, let's see there's can you see my screen. Oh. Okay, cool. This one right here, the KCP number 33 is the one we just listened to. And that has, it's a kind of a short one that's like maybe only 20 minutes long, but um, the elders there, they sing different lullabies from their childhood and things they remember. And then in KCP number 113, they do something similar, but they each, uh, there's a lot more lullabies on that one too. So if, uh, if you're interested, there's those two recordings. I put them in this uh, folder. So for those of you that are on Google or can get on Google Drive, it's in our Kiowa language resources folder here, uh, which I share. It's that shared folder that I send in the emails and click on learn Kiowa, go to spring and then go to Sundays and then you'll find these recordings here. So if you're curious, um, there are those ones there. All right. so. The recordings we have to pick from today are this uh, social relationships and child care, um, clans and sacred dances, Kiowa traditional songs, war dance, um, religion and traditional dances, Kiowa serenades, child care, rabbit society, lullabies, encouraging Kiowa children education, Catering ceremony, children's lullabies, Kiowa proverbs, and there's this one called Kiowa songs. So that's that's what I got right now uh, available and downloaded. <laughs> so, do any of these stand out? Any anyone in particular that you'd like to that we should listen to? Any suggestions? Anyone? See, I can't see the chat. So look at the chat. Education and the clans topic are suggestions. Okay, so let's see the clan. So this number one zero one five, so fifteen clans and sacred dances, or this other one, encouraging Kiowa children's education. Recording number 95. All right. Let's do the first one. Okay, clans and sacred dances. All right, so let me turn the audio on. Um, all right, well, we'll pull it up and we'll see, see how far we get. So, uh, go. Oh, you go side at the old Oh, you Oh, you Oh, you <clears throat> ah, Coco, get on me on key, get on me. Don't get the end. I don't call the only. Okay. 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 Ok
Okay, Grandma D, would you like to start us off? <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, there was a lot covered there. And the speaker was Tom Lilchie. And when he started out, I thought he was going to talk about. So anyway, what he was saying that he was talking about uh, the sunsets. 
And where he said they, let's see, they usually got, he doesn't know uh, all the groups when they uh, got the Sundance circle finished, they prepared it and he didn't know how long that took. But afterward, then all the uh, groups and societies and whatever gathered together. And and uh, I don't know if they went in together. Or he talked about the brush dance and then named all these groups. And then he talked about the groups with a small like rabbits. And then when they grew up, they they were young men, and then they they had <clears throat> I he didn't mention an organization for them, but then they would select you to belong to one of these organizations as you grew on. You heard him say uh, uh, all the societies he had said the black legs and uh, and the uh, uh, other societies that we have that we talk about today and they came in and so that's what he was talking about and that he said that the parents were always honored whenever their their son was selected to be a member of whatever society he belonged to so So I, could, I say he was covering a lot and I don't know a lot of it, but then I was trying to remember what he was saying. I tried to write it down. He mentioned brush dance and then all the societies came in. And that was after they prepared the Sundance. And he said they always tried to get near a, a wooded area, maybe along a river or somewhere because they needed, I guess, the trees and probably the water and the sand or whatever. So anyway, that's what they they erected their Sundance circle. And that's all I have. Too bad we don't have the other elders to help make it clearer, but that's oh. Well, uh ho, Grandma, but uh, I just saw that Grandma Martha Nell just got on, and I know Miss Velma's on here. Um, yeah. So let, I, I don't think Grandma Martha was able to hear the whole that whole speech, but maybe she'll be able to hear the next one. Okay. And Velma? Um, yeah, let's see, Miss Velma, do you have anything you want to add? Uh, just just a little bit about when she was talk when he was talking about uh, when they uh, <clears throat> took the young men into the societies that they like they really thought about it and didn't just pick anybody you know to be a member so it had to be someone that I guess knew, they knew and you know an outstanding um, person and um, you know like uh, and like uh, Dolores said the, the family was very proud of him. But yeah, that's a lot, <laughs> a lot. Um, well, here's a question. Do we want to listen to his speech again? Oh. Uh, OK. That's <laughs> no problem. We can rewind it. And then Grandma Martha, you could also, maybe, hopefully, you'll be able to hear it, too. <laughs> OK. Um, that's, I'll try. All right. Awesome. OK, let me rewind it. And we'll. Uh, Okay, Sorry, what was that? Oh, I'm riding in a car. I think my phone is doing its own thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I just want to make sure I'm not. Okay. No, okay. I was just getting ready to listen. listen. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> oh, all right. I'll press play. Oh. 
Alfred's going. You're good. How we get on dog get the end. I come caught the dog tight. How we get dog for on dog tight. Right? Oh, boy, good. I can't go on dog tight. So can go on the ten so they can go. Go ahead and play the card door and that on me. Big fire and that on. Come on, I get a hug and 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 call to that. I go on top on bait or by him. Have a call to it. Yeah, I own top that and then and cool tone tone dog I own top that and cool to be God. God go on dog favor. I get ain't so viewing cool to what don't. It got called. Oh, go I, 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 They go, oh, you can do they go, but he can vote, they go, boom, but he can vote. They go, oh, go I, 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 Goon get on go get to. Because you got to because I am ah when you know it because I get the bomb but they got you go and go caught the dog they got to get ah cool so they add up. How the key get up to that in ah oh my god to a more hole look at the one I got to hey boy. Go they on the game more hole get up because you got to go go he got to because. I go, I go, and 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 yeah. The cartel plan, they have a cartel going boom. Go get stay on the game more hold get. I go caught the more hold get. I go, I got heavy or the internal go. I go you the stay where I go. I go or you the yai talk you get all come and and yai on me the talk you get all. Go I go, but don't go on the game. They were him then and and ain't go but dog go I go but dog go boy. You but you you they dog they don't pay to have a they count a year ago. They can never worry on pay to. They pay to get down me. They pay to. Sun sun town sun town. I get my town dog dog tally dog town. I got town and. Content of the go, they go for a lie. They go by, go to a come up on a heat gone for a lie. They go, they go, go to on to play the dog, sad that. Go, they go beat that dog that the hunt they get, the rain go not, the rain go. So, yeah, go not come again, dog. Go up, be not, they tell you all about, they all got all about the dog, 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 Polite, ah, go. Here, got a little got two more points on the go here. I got a guy here, got a guy, 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 Touch up on uh, our ceremonial dances, which is a uh, uh, okay. Uh, 
Grandma D, was there anything additional you want to add? Well, not really. I'm trying to go, but he was just saying that when he got to the rabbits, talking the first, he was saying how much uh, the Kyle people thought of the children. And uh, they were always proud of them, and they all, everyone loved their children. He didn't say it in that way, but that's the thought. And then he said, and then when they were dressed, to dance, he said they were on guard over all but thought us that we were fully dressed, just like I guess adults. I don't know, but that's what he said. Hey, hey. So that was the point that I missed that that the the tribe uh, thought a lot of their children. I mean. That includes the parents and the grandparents, and the, that's why we have a lot of grandpas and grandmas when you're young. All those aunts and uncles, and that that came to mind when he was talking about how 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 uh, protecting and love the children were. And that's Obama. Oh, Oh, uh -huh. um, Grandma Marcinel. Okay, I think that uh, Dolores pretty much covered that first part. That after I heard the recording, she uh, got a lot of that in there, and I think that he's explaining the reason for them even putting that together. And I like the idea where he said that all these people that become members came from the different organizations within our tribe. But I noticed. Um, in years past, you know, they, sometimes they choose where they want to be and they might support that group. But it sounds like here they had a lot of great interactions between the uh, different groups like the Taipei, the Ohoma, and the um, Hong Kong, all of them. So they could all become members of that and support it. And um, but he explained it pretty well, the structure of it. And then at the end, when she, he was talking about the little rabbits, I think that was a um, an important part too that Dolores just discussed, but um, I can't think of anything I could add to it. Omaha. Ha a ho. Miss Velma, you want to add anything? Uh, no, but I'm going to be off for a little bit. I got to take my grandkids to. I have to do something. So, but I'll try to get back on on my phone. Aha, aho. All right, awesome. Uh, does anyone have any questions on this part? I don't have any questions on it, but I want to make a comment. <laughs> Not long ago, in these past, within these past two weekends, probably, they had dances with the Comanche tribe, and it sounded like they did brush dancing there. And people were, that know the whole story kind of were making comments about it. That the Comanches are brush dancing now. That's what I got out of it. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. when they do, go ahead. Oh, and then when they also, when they do their victory dances, the women, that their men get in and dance with them, which is not so with the Kiowa people. I actually saw the video of that several times. Martha, this is Carolyn. Uh -huh. I, Otos had a benefit uh, yesterday and I was talking to this Kickapoo lady who sells crafts. And she said, yeah, I asked where she'd been. She said, yes, I went down to the Comanche. I said, was that in December? She said, no, it's just a few weeks ago. She said, mm -hmm. it was interesting. They did the brush dance. I hadn't seen that. <laughs> She said, and then they did the scalp dance, and I didn't say any. I didn't say anything. I just didn't say anything. I just looked at her. <laughs> but then later on, I was thinking, well, then if they're doing the brush dance, what songs are they singing? That's right. See, I didn't hear that or see it, but I hear people talking about it. So, what? Yeah, I mean, do they do you even know what it means? 
I know, and you do it outside. That's right. <laughs> and and I, I did say, I said, well, was it outside? And she said, no, it was, she inside. didn't really know. Yeah, it was inside. But, and I said, well, was it Watcher Taker Hall? She said, no, it was the Expo Center. And Oh, in town. In Long yeah. Long. Uh huh. Oh. Uh, a big building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was odd. It, it was an odd thing to, to hear them do that. Wow. That's yeah. so interesting. Um, so did did Comanches have a Sundance also? No. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh, no. and then I wanted to know because I saw people posting about their victory dance and scalp dance, and I was like, so is that like a Comanche thing or is that like a Kiowa thing that we let them use? Like I'm just like wonder, I was just really curious about that. I don't think we've ever let anybody use our stuff, but that they can use it. <laughs> I just well, I really don't think they had the songs to even match the event. You know, so sometimes you hear your Kiowa songs out there and you wonder what it's doing in a that different arena. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, we let the somehow the Gordons get far, far away from us. Oh. Yeah, there's yeah. a gore dance in uh, California and <laughs> all over. <laughs> yeah. Get to talk to them. Yeah. Would you come in? Yeah. Six o'clock. Well, that's, that's really interesting. Um, I do want to mention, I think it might have been over the summer. We actually listened on one of our Sundays. We listened to, there's a KCP recording about brush dance that talks about memories of, of our Kiowa brush dance. Uh -huh. and so just so just so you all know, we there is a recording that talks about it. So you may uh, want to check that out too. Well, I'm not really familiar, maybe Martha Nell, some of you said, but the brush dance, you didn't dance just for the sake of holding a brush. Were you taking it to put on top of the the uh, sun dance circle? Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. That's what I wondered about. I thought maybe that's what that was for. Well, uh, Grandma, I think um, I think you you and Grandma Martha might have been on there uh, this past summer when we listened to that brush dance recording. But I thought it was uh, kind of neat because it was kind of like um, we, we heard those speakers talk about how it was kind of like at the end of the work day. Like they had, they called everyone together to go and they, they worked, they gathered up the brush and they put, you know, they built the arbor. And then mm -hmm. after that, they had a dance to kind of commemorate that. And it, but it was like people were actually working and while they were dancing, like it was, there was a purpose for it. And it wasn't yeah. just, I think I remember you making that comment. It's not, you just don't go grab a, a little stick and hold it and dance with it. You actually yeah. have to like work. Yeah. And, so, and that was, that was the prior stuff they did to building that Sunday circle. You know, they had a lot of little intricate steps in there. And a lot of people took part, including the children. And the grandmothers. So yeah. it's got a lot of detail and history in it. But if you're another tribe and you use that, I would think you'd have to know about it. Huh. And uh -huh. I think uh, in one of the, in that brush dance recording, they talk about that where at what point, because everything's in a specific order. And then at, at some point they had the kids and the grandmas come out and the kids, they sang that sand spreading song. That's I right. remember they talked about that too. Mm -hmm. That's all kind of interwoven in that preparing the Sunday. And there's a, well, Godova, he has a series of 10 paintings. And one of them he tells, uh, he drew himself with a buffalo robe and he was crawling toward, I think, gathering up, I, feel, I don't know, maybe it was the little boys or what, I, that part, I'm not clear, but that, it was part of, that was his part in the Sundance. Mm -hmm. that he had, a, I don't know what that's called, but oh, 
I don't have my book with me. The historic, he explains what he's doing in that picture. But it, it's part of the Sundance. He was telling his life and what he did through these drawings. And, and he, he uh, has a buffalo robe on and he's crawling like he's a buffalo. So and that's part of the, he said that was part of the Sundance. So like, like uh, Martha was saying, there's a lot to it. Yeah, there's a lot of parts to it. History. Mm -hmm. so, so that's kind of odd when I, I'm hearing from other people what happened. I think then the past two weekends, they had dancers honoring their outgoing princesses. Oh. And is that one of them? That they did this brush <laughs> <clears throat> Anyway, I kind of got y'all off the subject, but I was going to see if you heard about it. Uh, Dolores, you could probably ask Tim. Tim had a comment on um, Facebook today about that. And then while we're at it, before I forget, Terry had a question about why uh, uh, why the Kiowas don't have clans with animal names like Bear Clan. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, you know, the only place where there are names, I know my, my Tali family belonged to the Elk Clan, Ogui. Yeah. And I don't know if it was planned or not, but anyway, they were, and it's in that Moody's book, I think. Where is that? We're, we're in the circle, the Sundance circle. And I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. How many, I don't know how many groups there were, if they were called clans, but anyway. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. My Tali was that. That's the only one I know. She was. Her family was with the elk group. Yeah. See, um, the thing about our tribe is that I always say it's a very structured tribe because of everything. You know, the camp circle, the way the different groups were together. It's a camp. Um, even that Sundance. Um, structure. I mean, everything seemed to have its place and the Congress remembered it and knew about it. But in modern day, I think some people might see something and like it. And that's when they just try to do that too. That's what I think happens. Yeah, they must not know their history and they just oh, well. do it. Well, they see that I don't know what happened to the some of those tribes' cultures. They either got left behind when they got moved here or came here themselves. But can you imagine our, how much that we have in our tribe and it's still, uh, you know, there, it's still there. Well, when they were building that museum in mm -hmm. uh, D.C., uh, mm -hmm. a group I think it was about. I would say they were at least five, maybe more. They came to the uh, AOA, you know, they're eating lunch with people and their purpose was there to have comments and you name and order what you, uh, if you chose to participate and answer what, what you would like included. And the Taiwans were one of the 12 tribes that were featured when it was open. And, um, and as I understand it, they were going to change them as time went on. And I asked one of the, one that was standing nearby, and I asked, why did you, why are you here? Why did you select Kiowas? Mm -hmm. And she said, it's because Kiowas have a very rich culture. Yeah. They're yeah. very rich in culture. And um, so... That was one of the reasons, and that's what we're talking about now. Yeah. All these yeah. things that we've listened to, that's, that's our culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and yeah. maybe some people didn't have as much of a culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'm sure that that's the way it is. Yeah. Some tribes. And then it's important. Your language is important. That's why I'm glad that you guys are listening and you're interested yeah. because that's that's the basis of who we are and what we do and why we do it. Mm -hmm. What we do. Oh. So so for things like uh like the brush dance, who like I guess I'm wondering like how can we or who would be appropriate to share information about like well here's the Kiowa brush dance and here's what we here's what it means, here's what we did, or do we just let it happen? I'm just wondering if there's anything that we can do so that people don't take it and completely distort it. Yeah. Say it again. They've already done that to mm. the gore dance. Yes, that's right. Oh. They don't know what they're doing, you see. Yeah. No, it's, not been, it's been years since I've been at Sequoia, not the 60s, Sequoia High School, Helqua. And uh, there was a man, there was a nurse there. She was a nurse and I forgot her tribe. I did know uh, one of the tribes in Canada. Anyway, she was married to this man. I don't think he was, but around there, around Telecall, you can't tell. Anyway, he was this, her husband was uh, explaining to somebody about the, about the gourd dance. And he, I, I know his wife was uh, uh, one of the tribes in Kansas City. I'm one of those days that I can't bring anything up. <laughs> but, uh, oh gosh, Potawatomi. She was <laughs> Potawatomi from Kansas. And uh, he was explaining a gore dance to somebody. And I thought, oh, what does he what does he know? The Winnipeg, she's married to, he was married to Winnebago, and there he had the, well, I'll just say it, just the audacity to talk about something that he didn't know anything about. Right. <laughs> Good. Good. So there you are. That's way back. Now, that I was there in the 60s at Tahlequah. That's how long ago that they came to it and knew all about it. It isn't so much that it's a dance, it's so much that it's just the idea that that they uh, just latch on to something mm -hmm. when they, they don't have anything. So, and that's easy to do. That's if we, we were, if we were strict to begin with, and that you could only dance with moccasins and leggings and and dress to the nines like a Kiowa, and you mm -hmm. insisted on it before you got in the arena, then mm -hmm. maybe it wouldn't be as as widespread as it is now. Right, and. The women are not allowed in there. It's a man, it's a man's thing. So you do not get in the arena. Mm -hmm. you if you want to dance, you dance from where you are. If you're a woman. Mm -hmm. All that, all those things are gone. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if, if we kept it that way, then maybe we would just, the car was without board dance. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be all over like it is. So how did we get to where we are? 
Oh, no, no, no. Changes, changes, changes. Oh. <laughs> Terry's got something in here. Oh. Oh, the chat. chat. Oh. Hmm. Oh, thank you for sharing that in the chat. Yeah. Well, um, should we play the next speaker on that recording? Okay. And see what else they say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me pull it back up. Listen to my thing. Organizations, and but the main one was this uh, uh, Sundance. We used to camp, have a camp met. A big of the, all the tribes, the Kawa tribe, and uh, also he, he states that. Uh, there were different clans that have their own dances. But this is sun dances of a, of a whole uh, tribe. It's something that you worship. I know uh, it's a story that's been told before. Also, uh, it that uh, when a child is born, uh, they have different clans. They automatically become a rabbit, a little rabbit. And uh, so now we'll still go on and some more discussion by Lucy Thompson at this time. Yeah, it's really low. Well. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the phone. Melody, we can't hear that. Yeah, it's too low. What do you have that water, Melody? Just did my mail run, Chase. 3,100 pounds of letters to the best fans on earth. Yeah, I, I can't uh, turn it up farther so let me try to skip ahead and see if there's a better audio on here all right is he coming back i'm a popular guy i don't know because he's got his backpack on his back he used to watch that he's talking to his dad i heard him try to say dad he sounded really mad on the phone Okay, Parker, I hear that. Okay, I'm on row, whatever row this is, row eight. You said you have money in? Yeah. Okay. Okay, have fun. I'll be right here. Try not to be too long, maybe like 15 minutes or 20 minutes, but yeah, don't spend forever. <laughs> Can you hear that? Honey. Yeah, that was too low. Okay, let me try to skip to the next part. Okay. Oh, wow. 
Okay, could you hear that? Yeah. Um, try to um, go back to the screen, the audio screen. Sometimes if you're on your phone or something, it the the oh, it'll the, block it. Okay. The screen, me... Yeah, the screen where you were that you were on for the cult cryocultural program. Okay. Where it has the um okay, let's see. I think I will get Mr. Yale Spotted Bird to to say the version of uh of the of this clan and other talk that he would talk about. Okay, let me see. I think that's Yale Spotter we're talking. Can you hear that recording? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, let me exit out of that one. Okay, let's see if I can find another one. Should we try listening to that next, the other recording that we wanted to hear, the uh, education one? Okay, let me find it. Testing. Testing one, two, three. Testing. Education. We are Kiowa, Kiowa children. We're brought up and tried to 
encourage them to get an, uh, get an education. Okay, can you hear that one? Ah, uh, it's better, but it's... Could you hear it? Just a little bit. No, there you are. It's low. Okay. Let's see. I, it's a, it, there's a lot of um, static in that one, but we'll, maybe it'll get better. We'll see. Hold on, let me play it some more. So at this time, I'm going to ask uh, Yale Spotted Bird to give us the invocation. I hope they get out there. They don't think it's good to keep that, forget all the things go on there. I'm sorry, the gamma or the gamma folks, the dog, they don't get excited. The boy ain't get caught, the way the stove set it all side, they set it in right caught. The one day, I'm sorry, it all get the dog, they get the more, more, oh, my dog, oh, I found the dog, probably. Oh, you just don't get more angry. Your dog saw it all. Get your dog get more. Eight, eight root the fruit of your dog. Tower of culture. And all you get dog all they go. They go hang your dog. Or they go out corn dog. And they go fruit. Get soap all they go. Get get torn. Stay fruit. Then every time you get saw it, get so get. And I like I see the every time so get fall. It was a turn up holes and all what they stay on they go. Get on found. The bone with the car and time go down to the I'm young monk and the dumb tie the fall, but I'm I'm kind. Don't get hit it too, as the Lord help us. Don't get this one up to now. Get town down at the go him. Ain't go one day I get some day I get fog or maybe. Uh eight salt the dog call a salt the dog. They don't play the dog. How we get dog or they go. Get finished on the dog, the other day on it. Yeah. <coughs> on get high, got okay, but can you go get out of them? And go don't make all they got so do more than suppose get key or coke key told it. On they get key down, they'll be more be on on the high yard out. They go get, they go, I'm hard, great sun on the bone with the car. And some day more bow and fail to have pretty more sometimes. They keep. He had failed something. Uh, get town, dawn to town, go. The side, uh, then go be in there. They go, thought they go, so he do it, go, yes, they go. Mm -hmm. And we go, then they go, me go, Honda, yeah. I go, Honda, yeah. You would eat, they go, eat, they get eat, the target, the matoe, target, the Honda, yeah. Uh, they exert on me. So for one day, uh, one day more, so good to be back on me. So your first go home, they go by being back if you eat. I get to go be dog side, you ain't got good, but yeah, God dog, we fail by Yakum, I go down the car. So long, the fate, the one that I get to so long. Yeah, dog, and yes, they bow, and then at least we're trying, eight old by star, so long. Okay, one get high. I get they call they boot. Don't they? And they don't tag them more. They go sit down. They saw me say, On they get on me. They go in, go on the eight side. So they go in along. They go in Kong. They go in Peace Tree. They all here. They go in all time. So they saw it. We are in the face. It's so good. So now I'm going to go. another third world war. And they, they must go uh, to, to, to protect our country. And they get more oil. And they only, I'm on the Amman saw my daughter, President Carter. He's a, he's a praying man. Ah, get a dog, a dog, no ye dog. And dog sat for it. So one day again, the arm go more go to the Giantosan, or go get pulled on me. Song from a certain chapter in the Bible. They get take calm. Some get one day. I get the 
نایو ده تو ها ام سانگی یند هان ده داد ها ده ام سانگی گه داد گه او بستا تا و ام گه دا سالی تا کمیرکیت و دی ده هان تای گه ام 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 گایم سانگی گه تا دو ان تام دو ان سانگی او فیگو تا او فیگو یال ها پیتر گو تا ده داد آگه ته تو پیلا اون تام اون یه گه اون سان پا ده او پیت Er, that dog is a light, that dog. For yoga, for God, dog, for Hyundai, get so hold. For Hyundai, get on the wood, hungry dog, a high go off, a go on the thing. I just say the rest. But pay get from the way, pay get high, do the nugget. Oh, but they go up, go, go, agreement, get on, made it. Oh, pay go get out, or the on the chai, so I get out, or the so long get town. So long, no, I saw and I go saw get failed over. So they don't get those that to have by a dome. Your town is strong. Opey went to get those the man go. Tower culture class get those. I get take tie it. So so long, get town is strong. Okay, could anyone hear that? A little. It's a little staticky. It's kind of hard to. I turn the volume all the way up, but it won't go any higher. <laughs> okay. Could anyone make anything out in that, or should we try a different recording? Well, he was a, I don't know, there's 15 minutes left. Maybe we could see if we could hear anything. If not, if it doesn't improve, then, or maybe just leave it up to you. See if you want to listen to something else. But maybe the next speaker will be yeah. able to better. Yeah, maybe it'd be easier to hear. Okay, let's see. So that was the opening prayer. I think for that session. So let's see if it gets any better to hear. So at this time, I'm going to ask uh, Gail Spotted Bird to give us the invocation. Oh, 
own gap. No one is on shore. All of us are the home and place. So keep I do go in airport. Keep your dog get on on the day. Owen is on the town. Okay, could anyone make anything out? I think that was your father speaking. Germany. Oh, oh. <clears throat> well, he was, what I could hear was he's talking about encouraging, the topic was encouraging children for an education. So he said uh, the, the, uh, cost of an education was they didn't have any means to have that and said later uh, as time went on the government officials realized that they needed to help if that's what they wanted and he talked about higher education on sounds like so anyway i heard that much where he was saying that they didn't really have financial means and didn't really understand that part and then he said, aim at Paul. At Paul. That means they realized that it dawned on them that they, the government officials said they needed to be able to help them financially. So that's all. That's where it stops. And how do you say it dawned on them? Aim at Paul. At Paul. All right, Martha. Now, I agree. Yeah, it's like realized, or uh, yeah, uh, that needed to be done. Oh, awesome. Uh, let's see. Can I? Uh, um. Can one of you say that again so we, I could try to put it in the chat? Airport. In capital. Uh, Grandma Martha Nell, how would you spell it? I think it starts with a K. It's got to have a K because we have those other letters. Um, no. Just C A P with an up A and then H A U H A U with a down A. Okay. Okay, I put something in the chat. <laughs> okay. Let me get up real quick. This instance perpetuates a tradition of nobility and an ironclad resolve to improve the values of discipline driven by All right. Uh, let's see. I know Ms. Velma had to step away. Um, Dora Martha Nell, did you were you able to hear the recording or did you want to make any comments on if you it was, could? It was, it was still kind of pretty low, but uh, what I got out of it was he was um, talking about uh, back in the day that. Um, he said, Dogu dog, go, go. He's talking about the young men and women who are getting ready to, uh, you know, go to higher education. And he said that they really didn't have anything set in place to help them. Um, in the past, he said, uh, they didn't get any help that way. And he said, there was no money. And eventually, uh, he said, uh, the Indians began to kind of help a little bit. And it was long ago 
when they helped. And that's kind of what I got out of what I heard. Oh, oh. Well, let's see. Um, we're almost at uh, our time here. Um, I don't know if we have time to listen to another speaker. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's a way I can make the audio louder, but I don't think I can. <laughs> um, so let's see. Miss Velma, were you, are you back? Did you want to? Were you able to hear anything? Did you want to comment on any? Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, any other questions? Any questions in, if you want to put them in the chat or does anyone have any questions for our mentors? All right. Well, I don't hear any questions. I don't see anything in the chat. Uh, so I guess we can go ahead and uh, close up for the afternoon. Um, so let's see for a closing prayer. Um, Grandma Martha. เดี๋ยวใส่อ๋อตอนนั้นอ๋อเด้อมีโทรศัพท์อ่าไม่โทรศัพท์อ่าเอ่อเฮาเดเกลอ๋อมาอ่าเฮาเดเกลอ๋อ